Let us understand more about returning values to the caller. So in this case, caller is nothing but this one, and this is where we have specified the function body. We typically have one or more return statements inside the function body. It is not uh, mandatory that we can have only one return statement. You can have n number of return statements. However, only one return statement will be executed. For example, if you want to return different values based upon different conditions as part of the if else condition, we might have to define multiple return statements. However, only one return statement will be executed. Once the return statement ex is executed, the control will go out of the function to the caller who called that function. That being said. The statement written exits a function. We can return back an expression or variable or object to the caller. A written statement with no expression is the same as return none, which means if there is no written statement in the function body, then the function returns none object. We can return multiple expressions in Python. It is not mandatory that we have to return only one expression or object. We can have multiple uh, expressions or objects as part of our written statement. Let's uh, rerun this get commission amount function which we have seen earlier. It will just take the sales amount and commission percentage, and it gives us the sales commission amount. So when I run this, the sales commission amount is nothing but two hundred dollars. Now I am defining another function called as get phone count. What it will do is it will take the employee ID and phone numbers as list. And if the length of each phone number is 10 digits, then it is considered to be valid phone number. Otherwise, it is considered to be invalid phone number. So by applying that rule here, we are trying to get invalid count as well as valid count. And finally, we are returning both. When you actually see the function get phone count for employee ID and phone numbers, we have defined the data types. It is not mandatory to define the data types, but uh, from Python 3, you can actually define the data type like this for informational purpose. However, if you pass uh, the values of different type, it will still accept because Python is dynamically typed. But you can actually specify the data types just for informational purpose, and uh, it will improve the readability of uh, our programs. That being said, now let's go through the function body here. I am initializing two variables: valid count and invalid count. And then I am iterating through all the phone numbers which are passed as the list. And if the phone number length is not equal to 10, then I am incrementing invalid count. Otherwise, I am incrementing valid count. Finally, I am returning both valid count and invalid count here. Let's create this function, and then let's invoke this function. This is how you can pass a list to satisfy the phone numbers here. And then the list can be iterated like this. We will see a more about lists and all at a later point in time. For now, just copy paste and try to understand how a function can return multiple expressions or variables or objects.